Welcome to another dope episode of Candy Fresh. I'm your host, Kalik, and, and this is... I am Anahita, but we are not just the two of us today. We got a lovely lady over here. Say hello to... Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I am Shakira, your red carpet host for my last and final episode. Oh, oh man. She is leaving us here in St. Paul, Minneapolis, and moving to L.A. Okay, okay. To live the dream. I and got we a couch to sleep on now. Wish you what was that? <laughs> uh-huh. uh, Anyways, no. <laughs> we wish you nothing but the best, girl. Love. I appreciate yes. it. Yes. It is a big show, though. We are here to celebrate the third anniversary of Candy Fresh. Happy Three anniversary, years. everybody. Oh, yeah. Woo! Candy Fresh. Fresh. And it's so exciting. It's to reach three years. We want to give a special shout out to Essence Jones and Bianca Rose for making this possible and Let's all give them a the round volunteers of applause. as well. Yes. Give them a round of applause, please. Thank and we you. can't forget about Aaron Price behind the scenes and our very own DJ, DJ Mickey Breeze. D -D -D DJ Mickey Breeze. Mickey Breeze. We have an amazing, dope, super sweet show for you today. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to give up all the details. How about you guys? We're going to turn it up a notch a little bit. And you guys are now watching Candy Fresh. There we go. All right, man. So we got a real special guest here today. What's your name, my man? Drew. Drew Devine, y'all. Drew Devine. Give it up for Drew Devine one more time, y'all. So I heard you got some bars, man. I got some heat, bro. Okay, okay. See, I, see, people say that a lot these days, man. But what makes you so different? Because uh, I really provide it, bro. I really do. Mm, he said he really provide. Do. I like that. I like that choice of words, provide. So what got you into rapping? Uh, my uncle, bro. He um, he put me on. He's a producer himself. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he got me inspired. He used to little homie me all the time, and I got good at it. So <laughs> said, come here, nephew. Let me show you a thing. And now I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your what's your process? How did you get into rapping? Other than just being around it, what uh -huh. gave you the confidence? You like, you know, let me take this for real. Uh, you know, like probably like life itself. Probably mm -hmm. like came across a lot of uh, situations in my own life, and I felt like rapping about it. And I probably was really whack early, and then I got good. So <laughs> no, that is the truth. Writing is like super therapeutic. You know, you get right. to express right, yourself. Right. What's a key song for you that like really transformed like you know what i actually i'm kind of cold at this uh talking about my own music yeah your own music uh a song called uh you say it was early early in my music mm -hmm. you say it was a song about my life where i finally put everything together and it was like a good sounding record that was really about my life so it's nothing like that first success once you get that taste you're going to keep on chasing it yeah, yeah. So who are your inspirations in the game right now? We got a lot. Are you one of the, the uh, yeah, ooh, uh? Or, do you, uh actually, <laughs> or you really got, you got them bars? Are you a wordsmith? How, how would you say you describe your, your artistry? 
I think people would define me as a wordsmith, but um, I'll go Cole, uh, yeah, J. Cole. I'll go. Um, okay. I like him already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all time or right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll go. I'll go Drake. I'll go Kendrick. I'll go uh, Joey. I'll go Smino. I'll go Childish Gambino. Okay. I'll okay. Keep going. <laughs> I rock with a few of them. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, would you say? What do you get like your influence from though? Because some of them, they're actually they're pretty different artists that they got. Right, right, so right. how do you like get inspired by them, but also create your own sound that makes you different? Um, I don't know. I I feel like when I came into like rapping myself, I don't know who I sound like. My uncle tried to tell me I sound like Tech Nine, and, Word. and wouldn't let me <laughs> hop on verses. But um, I would feel like my influence comes from those first few that I talked about. I would talk about like. A Cole or a, a Drake, mm-hmm. even a Big Sean. Even though I didn't throw that in there, Big Sean is yeah. a man. He's little in real in real life, but you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His music's still hot though. So where does the name come from? Like, how did you figure that to be your like your your logo and your staple for who you are? Yeah, I used to go by Drew, and um, my friends were like, "That's too plain. Like, you can't just go by Drew. That's not hot until you're hot." So. <laughs> You got to add something. And so my middle name is Devon Michael. So I went with Devon. So no 75 cent, no 10 cent. No, nah, no, nah, that's, that's not. not. Maybe a different Devon. type of music, maybe, but nah. <laughs> no, no, no. I got you. So where have you performed lately or what, where, where can we see you at? Um, okay. I mean, I haven't, I performed a few spots, but my most, or the, the one coming up is First Ave, Seventh Entry. August 14th, we're about to perform. Uh, it's coming up. Uh, yeah, yeah, my first headliner, so I'm excited. Yeah, Ooh, give it up, give it up. So, so out of your peers and everyone that you've, got, you've like grew up with, are there more artists that you collaborate with as well in the Twin Cities? Because I've noticed like it's kind of the culture here is kind of like everyone just grind your way up right. on your own and no one wants to collaborate as much. So how yeah. do you feel being in that type of, you know? Um, okay, I can name a few artists um that are that I think are dope. I yeah. don't know if we like collaborate like that. I think Mac Irv is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um I love uh uh are we doing rappers or just musicians? Does it not matter? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, Whatever okay. you like. Um I think Shanel McCoy is dope. I think uh <clears throat> I think Devin Reason is dope. I think Student One is dope. Yeah. Um yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I keep, go, I could keep going, but exactly. I'm just saying these dudes are cold. I, I like them. <laughs> I like how you added that. I, just in case I left anybody. You know what I'm out. saying, just in case I, I get a, like a, a tweet or something. <laughs> so, would you say who is your your number one artist right now that you feel is doing well in the music game and also just as a lyricist? Because I know it's different from a person that's like you know radio, uh-huh. and then a person that's just got bars and they may not have a hit on the radio. Uh, all right. So now I'm lost. You mean like just artists himself, or yeah, the, like your favorite artists that may not be well known? Because I know as an underground gotcha. artist, things of that nature, it's a struggle getting from that underground platform uh-huh. just to rising up. So have you like studied that whole like area and how you can like yeah, get like out of that box area, kind of exactly? Ah, uh, who is that? I named Smino. I think he's in that mid area for mm-hmm. sure. Um. Jid, J-I-D, yeah. one of Cole's artists. He's definitely in that mid area. Somebody I think is Cole that I like him inspired by. So Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm always trying to figure out, like, as an artist develops, how do mm-hmm. they continue to grow and then balance their regular lives and still hold this image? Like, nah, man, don't call me my government name right now. I'm Drew. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like, like. Um, yeah, that, that would be the guy. That would be one of the guys, man. <laughs> well, how can we keep in touch with you? What's one good way we can figure out what you're doing and what you're up to? Man, I'm posting all the time. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, all that. Drew Devon, D-R-U Devon, like Devin. So. All right, sweet, man. Well, thanks for coming up, Drew. We can't yeah, wait man. to get a performance out of you soon. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, y'all. Y'all going to enjoy it for sure. young lady, a beautiful young lady. She volunteered to be the very uh, first guest tonight. What's your name? Araya. All right, Araya. And what brings you here tonight? Um, 
my mom. Your mom. So who's your mom? Yeah. Uh, my mom is one of the people who come here and like edit videos. Okay. And Very cool. So let me ask you this. Have you been on a talk show before? No. Okay. And I hear you have a show of your own. Is that right? Don't be shy. Tell me about it. Um, it's a cooking show for kids. Okay. So what kind of stuff? You think you could teach me how to cook? Or is it like, what type of stuff are you whipping up in the kitchen? Uh, just like simple stuff that anyone could probably whip up. Okay, like filet mignon, that type of thing? No, like simple stuff like French toast okay. or like quesadillas. Stuff. Okay, those are a few of my favorite foods. Truth be told, every food is my favorite food personally. But um, let me ask you, how long have you had the show up and running? Um, for almost a month. Wow, okay, okay. Uh, are you accepting any guests at all on your show? Yes. So you heard that Arela has a cooking show of her very own. She's accepting guests. She makes good foods, and she shares them with you. So make sure to check her out. Uh, where can we watch your cooking show? Uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. All right. So she's, you're international around here. You can catch her anywhere. Again, if you didn't hear that, she said YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And what is your, uh, your name so we can find you? Every single one is Arela's Kitchen. Araya's Kitchen, you heard it here first, right? On the SPNN gray carpet. Thanks, Araya. Welcome. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm fighting the Z's. Ain't slept for some days. I'm out in the streets hoping I'm catching a wave. We fighting the Z's like magic did A's. I just hope that today ain't the last set of say. Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Ain't a day off, it'll pay off Ain't a day off, it'll pay off Back to the money, I blow my cash making CDs Music cats acting funny, but give me dab when they see me I've been rapping the Drew team as if it's actually the dream team But when your dreams cost a fortune, no more street team, it's a me team My boy scheduled a meeting overnight for Chicago Maybe I can get Yeezy to put some Drew in Serato I've been due for a Bravo, I'm improving my follow The smoothest y'all know since they discontinued Johnny Bravo I know the odds against me, but God's still with me The guy that pockets empty, so why I can't really just buy that Yeah, I can't hold a 9 to 5 for the life of me I guess like Harry Potter being normal ain't the life for me uh, Peep the young ambassador from BB, boy I've been trying to beat them boys I ain't trying to beat them boys In six months, we hardly gonna see them boys Yeah, unless you well in kingdom, boy I'm fighting disease Ain't slept for some days I'm out in the streets Hoping I'm catching a wave We fighting disease Like magic that is I just hope that today Ain't the last of the say Ain't a day off, it'll pay off Ain't a day off, it'll pay off Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Uh, hustling to pay a bus fare, ain't nothing fair about it. Not much in store for dudes like ethnic hair products. In the target, been the target, cause I'm a gifted artist. People got malicious comments, but I don't care about it. I'm not knocking you, I gotta start with Drew. I'm out here signing the headline in the Star Tribune. I was only 18, and I seen Epso tear down the caboose, but I'm a top dog too. Like I'm Drizzy with the views, but I'm from the 612. Come get to know me. Uh, see my Kardashian, you send to LA like Chloe. Uh, Something like this and that's never this in my wallet We'll be back to back to Cali like I'm Christopher Wallace You gon' have to catch a taxi while I whip my Impala Alright, I'm sorry, I might just let you ride for a small fee You still sleeping on me, homie, and I'm wake up, smell the coffee before I'm gone Ain't no days off Ramadan I'm fighting disease, ain't slept for some days I'm out in the streets, hoping I'm catching a wave We fighting disease, like magic did A's I just hope that today ain't the last of what Ain't a day off, it'll pay off Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Yeah, I like that echo. Hey, we fighting disease like magic did A's. Yeah, ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. Ain't a day off, it'll pay off. It'll pay off. Hey, hey. <clears throat> skirt, skirt. Yeah. And we bridging the gap. I know I like to brag. You know I like to brag. 
Oh, I'm back in my pocket. Drew getting drippy like tapping the faucet. Lately, y'all treat me like some average artist, but Drew doing super like half of these targets. Half these K marches. This for you people who hope I'ma make it. I know I'ma make it. High school girl said you'll never be famous. Your man Candy Monday records in the basement. Stop all the hating. I can feel the love, not that genuine. That's a common Minnesota temperament. People love you when it's them who benefits. Friends with benefits, use that term for men. More than my women. We cause a racket, but no playing tennis. Came with the wardrobe that's polo infinite. My meaning and motto come morally. Simmons, check me out. My suggestion box is overfilling, but my acceptance rate is unfulfilling. They say I ain't good with criticism. Check the algorithm. I ain't get her with them. LeBron in Cleveland, I don't need a GM. I slide him. I don't need a DM. Phantom Powers, I don't need a preamp. Third eye, DBZ, I'm TN. All the young people sound like someone's twin. All these sponge people say they going in. Who really hears me? I just began. No one lets me in like I'm here from France. All these top rapper lists need to take a day off. That is my plate that you do that ain't off. All right, my say like you boys is eight off. And since they won't been one like crab sticks sauce. Plain as it gets like a black crayon. I'm an animal you can't pray on. I mean, I hope you know that my words are a weapon. And that's why my cap stay on. I am a book, so I'm undervalued. If we we're all lakes that would call me Calhoun. I started off rapping to show y'all how to win your drives. It's elite, they are always foul like we hooping, I'm shooting. Uh, I made all you Saudis like Cooper. Uh, they think I'm a young buck a rookie. That's why I'm straight reds have honey you. My team is hungry, take all of the cookies. Nobody buddy, you all in the casket. So you I got 10,000 bars to you picture me and platinum. I'm applying all gold like a Latin. Uh, I guess when I'm spitting goes over your heads. Yeah, these dudes really, really must want to be guests stay over the head. Take shots, I'll soak them in lead. Take chains like I roll with the blitz. Act strange, I'll smoke you to death. Like there's too much dope stored in my chest. Uh, but I never owed him. Minnesota love adore me happily from where they Kobe. From the land of Goldie, but expanding slowly. Got my hand in your beach while we're soaking. Chain wet, got her motor boating. Call me mellow boy, you know I'm scoring. Name on her bottom, golden trophy, consolation prize. Like Jay Z's wife, she won a soldier 23 years old, but I ain't at old. It, so behave good, right? Diss me, you second dice. That one on one really ain't good, guy. Snake guy, say goodbye, say it twice. For it's too late, I ain't too nice. Went to LA like I'm Tupac. I'm the second coming, call me Drew Pac. Cut you off like a coupon. So these phonies just how much they work. Never done a drug, but I took the blood. If you ask me, bro, that's Mother Earth. Chuck up the dudes like a hippie. Whoa, we making moves while we shifty. Yeah, bridge the gap to the Twin Cities and just like a strap bar, I'm bringing them with me. I'm gone. Be doing. <laughs> y'all vibe with that. Woo, appreciate y'all, man, for real. Thank y'all. All right, what's up, guys? It's your girl Shakira live at the SPNN red carpet. It's gray this week because we have a special episode going on. We'll get into that a little bit later. But right now, I've got a young man by the name of Cyril Johnson standing next to me. What brings you here tonight? Man, I'm here to support the best artist in Minnesota, Drew Devon, the best host in Minnesota, Shakira Shante, hey. and the best architect in Minnesota, my soror, Bianca Rose. All right, that's what I like to hear. So you, you got invited by a couple people. I did, I did. All right, now is this your first time on set at the show? It's my first time. I wish I would have been here before. It's been amazing vibes. All right, that's what I like to hear. So, I mean, I know you're a very supportive friend. Um, you know, you're here for multiple reasons. But I got to ask you, you're on the gray carpet right now. You've got some talents of your own. Uh, what's going on in the life of Cyril Johnson? Well, Cyril Johnson's just trying to make it. You know, Candy Fresh has motivated me. Oh. I, I need to make more money. I need to, you know, pursue all of my entertainment endeavors. I need to be like the amazing dancers here today, the amazing artists, the amazing hosts. I'm hype. I'm happy. I can't wait to watch this live. You know? so, it, it, so, so not only is he all this, but he's the official Candy Fresh hype man. We need to cut him a check. Yes. They need to cut me a check. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding, Cyril. Just kidding. All right. So uh, tell me a little. Oh, we're, okay. Tell me a all right, tell me a little bit about your relationship with Drew and, um, you know, your friendship and wh how you came to support him in his career. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to Drew, man, we've known each other since sixth grade. I knew him when he first started rapping. That was back in the day when I thought I could sing. We done came a long way. I grew up. He could still rap. You know what I'm saying? He was talented back then, still talented now. I realized I couldn't sing. So I grew up. He was still a monster. So now, nah, I mean, from them on, he just kept getting better and better. And now, you know, it became to a point where it's like, man, like, this kid is super talented. Like, he could really put the state on the map. So we got to come and support. Absolutely. Well, that's what I like to hear. I will be hearing more from you a little bit later. But for now, thank you again. Let's cut it back to our amazing hosts, Anahita and Kalik. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on. Get your shine on. Candy fresh, come show up, get your shine on. And we are back with another amazing guest right here on Candy Fresh. I got... Twin Cities Music 
fame in the house. He is also a national tour master, also known as Carnage the Executioner. Give him some love, everybody. How you doing, my friend? I ain't too bad. I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing well. I told you to get nice and close. Not too close, but, you know. I don't want to get in trouble. Kalik and the guys, they don't like to get, like, elbow to elbow. But, hey, you know what? You're on it's our show. It's good right here. It's right? cool. I'm married, but my husband knows you, so it's so, so cool, right? <laughs> Denami, I love you. I just want to see my reflection through them shoes. Oh, dang. Okay. So we got to get shoe cam I look here. All right. like the Wendy Williams show, but, like, the Candy Fresh shoe cam. Okay, so... Enough about me. We are actually just going to talk about you for a few minutes, if that's cool. So Carnage the Executioner, for those of you that don't know, obviously is your stage name. How did that name even come about? That is a bold name. I'll be killing it. Okay. Oh, there's more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted a name that, uh, that when people heard it, they would go, whoa, and they wouldn't forget it. And uh, my first rap name, when I first started rapping in 1987... I don't think anybody in here was Y'all born. Y'all were babies or in the womb. <laughs> so when I started rapping in 1987, I called myself T. Swift, as in Terrell Swift, not Taylor Swift. Nope. Even though our birthdays are a day apart. Oh, wow. I didn't know that until somebody called me Taylor Swift. And I was like, what? And they was like, we got the same birthday. All right. So T. Swift, I changed my name from T. Swift uh, to Carnage the Executioner in 1997. And you've been killing it ever since. That's Isn't right. Isn't that right? That's right. So you perform locally, but you do a lot nationally. Talk about your tours and how you prep for that. That is a lot of work just to even like prep for a local show, let alone multiple cities around the country. I was once told that um, it's kind of a punk move to try to win a game in your city all the time. So you have to go to other places and get love. You got to grow, right? Yep. And um, I've spent years of doing my thing, you know, here in Minnesota. Um, I've helped mold a lot of MC styles. I ain't going to name no names. Um, but I've helped build this scene. And now um, it's time to go other places so the rest of the world can see me. And um, I book all my own tours. And I stay on the road because that's how you make money. Wow. Can you just give him some love for that? He books his own tours. I married a musician, so I know what it's like to book a tour. I used to represent and currently still represent musicians, so I know that booking a local show, let alone a national tour, is a lot of work. You've got to talk about your food, your gas, your uh, the shows, the venues, your, all that stuff. So that's oh, why... Can I, can I throw something else in there? You also got to deal with people who don't want to book hip-hop because they don't think hip-hop is music. Wah, wah. That is so lame. Yeah. So that's why it's so important to love your locals and support them even outside of the local city you are in. So let me talk about this. Not everything is exciting and like powerful and like positive. So can you share with us a little vulnerable moment about maybe something that was challenging in your career path that you faced and potentially overcame, let's hope? Being told I wasn't dope. Um, I was told that, uh, well, actually, it was, it was a, I don't know, maybe it was a backhanded compliment. Uh, the homeboy, should I say his name? All right, I'll say his name. Uh, Ant from Atmosphere, the producer from Atmosphere, he came up to me one day and he was like, yo, you're one of the dopest rappers I know, but your, rap, your album was whack. And he said that to me and I was like, nobody's ever going to say that to me again. So five years later, when he saw me perform, he came up to me and he said, that was the best performance I've saw in five years. And then three years later, I was on the, on the road with him. That's how you do it. You prove him wrong, right? You don't, you don't get mad. You just get even. Uh, I, I, was, I got glad that he told me. And then I stepped my game up. That's so. amazing. So it's inspiring, obviously. And yes. That's, that's much respect, right? So now talk about one of the highlights of your music career. You've done a lot of stuff. <sighs> uh, opening up for Method Man. Ooh. And, um going to the back room and walking back there to meet him and he's sitting on the couch rolling a blunt <laughs> and he looks up and he goes yeah the executioner yeah you and then put it, his right? head down and kept rolling his blunt that was that was a nice moment easy as that you don't need anything like extra no nah, i do need a uh, karis one told me i was a dope beatboxer i'll take that that's good that's huge okay so you're kind of a big deal i'm gonna have to have you like sign my shoes or something later if that's cool with you so out i don't think you want me to mess those up Pretty cool. But you know what? We're going to hear you perform a little bit later today. And I'm excited to hear you live. I've never heard you live. I've just heard you through, 
you know, the airwaves and different shows. Now, you also like to collaborate with different people, hence the people that, you, the representation that's on your shirt right now. Talk about it's my sister. Yes, talk about how and why it's important for you to bring people either under your wing or work with them side by side. Well, I heard somebody say earlier that um, a lot of um, artists in Minnesota don't like to collaborate with other people when they're on the come up by themselves. I heard that said um, a little while ago. And um, I've always been one to collaborate with other people. And in the beginning, I collaborated with people so much that it hindered me from doing what I needed to do for myself. So once I figured out um, why I was collaborating with people and got my confidence up, I kept collaborating with people, but I stopped doing it in a way that interfered with my own progress. Um, but I still find time to collaborate with other people because a lot of times you do things with other people that you wouldn't do by yourself. It should never be competition, right? It should always be about lifting each other up. Yep. You got ideas, I got ideas. Some of them will suck, so it'll be really great. But just talking it out and working it out and then yep. making a really, really yep. great show for people. So what about what inspires you to create the music that you create? Where do you even get that from? Me. All by yourself? You wake up, you're like, I'm cool, I got this idea. I'm to the point where if nobody ever told me I was good again, I would still do it because I'm inspired by me and I know that what I have is something unique and um, a, a different representation of what people need to be hearing. Um, I already got my influence from anybody who I grew up listening to, so that was enough to get me started. Now I'm my own uh, gas. That's amazing. And who did you grow up listening to? Public Enemy is my favorite group of all times. Uh, Chuck D is my favorite rapper. Uh, we got Rakim. Karis One, uh, Slick Rick, LL Cool J, Red Man, uh, Big Daddy Kane. That's an I'm old list. school. That's old good. School. So I love my old school. Yep. And you just listed some hot ones. So what is left on your bucket list of career goals? What is the one thing that you just got to rock out? <sighs> uh, I don't. I don't have a whole lot of bucket lists left. I've done a lot of my stuff. I've traveled the world. Um, I'm playing. Um, Thailand for the first time in August. Um, I've been to France a few times. Um, I'm able to pretty much book a show in any city I try to get. Um, my bucket list is pretty nice, so I don't, ha I don't have anything that I'm really craving past what I've already done. I just want to keep growing and keep putting my music out there and keep collaborating with people and, and doing my best. That is so best. inspiring because you've done so much and it hasn't always been easy. So what is the one piece of advice you can give to people that are either starting out inspired by somebody like you, or even mid-career, that's just like the ebbs and the flows, just they go up and they down. What's the one piece of advice you can give people? Chasing if, the dream, right? If you're a rapper, learn how to do something other than just rap. <laughs> that's my advice, because if all you do is rap, when you try to you know, book tours in places that don't want to take hip hop, then you don't have another way to get a show. Mm. So I hit people up and I'll be like, yo, I'm a, I'm a hip hop artist. And they go, we don't do hip hop. And then I send them a letter back as somebody else and say, I'm an improvisational jazz beatboxer and I get the show. <laughs> and that wows them, right? That's I right. Like all of that. Oh, man. OK, so how can we get a hold of you and all the things that you got going on? Where can we follow you at? CarnageTheExecutioner.com. You can hit me on Twitter, Carnage, triple XL, C-A-R-N-A-G-E-X-X-X-L. Um, Carnage the Executioner on Instagram and Facebook. And yeah, there you go. Give it up one more time for Carnage the Executioner. Thank you so much for chatting with us tonight. We got another interview out on the red carpet for you with Shakir Edwards. Thanks, guys. Oh, uh, man, just go crazy. It's my first time on a TV show, so I'm geek. All right, so you already performed. You did an interview inside. Um, how was the experience for you? Crazy, a little shaky, but I'm, 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 I'm excited to see it. Right, you seem chill now. You seem chill. Um, so obviously we have Drew here for a reason. He's very talented, uh, well known around the Twin Cities. I know you have some pretty big things coming up. So tell me about those. Yeah, for sure. I got my first headline at First Ave Seventh Entry on August 14th. Right. Y'all should come through, pre-order, do what you do. All right, like he said, shameless plug. August 14th, Seventh Ave. Be there, pre-order, pre-order. Usually pre-order is cheaper, so we you got to show up. Um, what else are you are you working on? You got any new music coming up? Or are you performing some of the some of the oldies but goodies? For sure. I mean, yeah, I'm. I'm you're gonna see some new records when we perform uh, when I do my first headline. But uh, I'm working on a lot of stuff. Some really nice songs, man. Something that people aren't used to. So I'm right. I'm real excited. 
Well, as you know, I'm a fan, personally. Um, you've got a lot of fans here today, so it won't be a problem. You definitely need to come show up, show out. You don't want to miss it, um, for sure. Now, I don't want to ask you the same questions that Kalik asked you in there, so since I know you a little bit better than the other hosts, I'm going to get a little personal with you. Um, so let me, let me ask you this. Uh, what is your favorite song to date that you have put out? Oh, shoot. Um, you see how I put them on the spot? No, okay, Replacement. It's a song I haven't dropped. Y'all gonna love it. All right, all right, and just tell me the gist of it. What is it about? Replacement, uh, uh, it's about a girl that you got the feels for, and you, right. and you don't want her to be replaced. Cool. All right, all right, we've all been there, done that. Well, hey, thanks again, Drew. I look forward to hearing more from you, sir. Um, again, we are live on the SPNN red carpet, gray carpet, for my last episode. Peace out. My name is Carnage, the executioner. Thank you for having me. Can you turn my mic up just a little bit back there? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to tell you why they don't invite me to do shows again sometimes when I rock it with them. It's not because I ain't good, but it's mostly because I'm there to steal the show. And it won't stop, and it won't quit. Carnage is the ultimate. Y'all can get props and shine bright. Mickey, how's that sound? Is it a little? Is it a little distorted? All right, let me try something else. Check, check. That sound better? I'm about to steal the show. And it won't stop, and it won't quit. Carnage is the ultimate. Y'all can get props and shine bright on my night. Hopeless, only when you might appear good before, with, and after me, don't spit. Rock them for retirement, home pages too early, bad timers. Make promoters lose faith, I'm worthy headliners. Stunner up the crowds, wondering how I do what I do. Thunder is loud, as though my powers come from the clouds. Brother has bowed, did every stage caught, going slaughter. Put me for your show, it's from the competition, but I get rid of your performance, ain't bending my position, because those are the tenders are gonna think I will walk on water. They always give me respect. Well, what is the not like if I see 3 xl Your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Hardest working artist earning money with no deal. Your limelight take of the show stealer. Yeah. You being better than me at what I do would not happen. Uh-uh. You're good, but watch out. Carnage is all about spot snatching. Yeah. Hit the stage after me. You won't even get a cheer. Uh-uh. Hit the stage before me, they'll forget you were ever here. All right. They like the fat boy talking mess. But watch the fat boy back it up. I'm going to show you how I do it. Need a track of some instruments, you can rip me deep. Hit one with one man, dead human NPC. My loop stays at this kind of clutch, not unless cover with sound. Reason my mouth got called the best drummer in town. That's moment if you happen to see me play your hurt. How about you rock for two hours and not even say a word? People think you beat some vocal scratches to pre made confusion plastered across your faces looking for a DJ. Then I see so many didn't know that I could beatbox. Took the running from glass and dodging pieces of sheetrock. Water crack and assault and batter and light fixtures. Blitz and monitors, bombing the system with my mixture of bondage. Will be some rough rapping, crush and bash and demolish and cock a league up on your first analysis. But watch and listen closer, and you see I'm sure and talented. And I don't ever try to steal a show, damn it, it just happens. Yeah. 
I'm a fan of old rappers I'm better than. Yep. My beats bang harder than your MP3s. I might upset a band. What? Hit the stage after me, you won't even get a cheer. Uh-uh. Hit the stage before me to forget you were ever here. Get your skills up. Any questions, suggestions, hate mail? All right. Let's keep it cracking. Thank you, thank you. Let me do this next one. Do it again, I'm a perfectionist. Give me a second. Know that beat right there? Oh. I'm so used to using two microphones, that's how I get down. Y'all know that beat, it goes. It goes one, two, three, and to the fuck. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at your door. But not, not, not tonight, I'm taking a beat. I'm about to make it sound a little better. Check it out. Let me tell you about supporting an artist right quick. How many of you out here support your local artist? Whether the show is free, it costs $5, $10, you got to go and see your homeboy or your homegirl. Because we know when Jay-Z and Beyonce come, you're going to spend $150 on them tickets. So spend $5 on your homie. This next song is about that. How us artists don't really have it as easy as you think we might have it. This song is called It Still Work. Because some of us do this for a living. I've been an independent artist for 11 years. I'm going on my 12 years next February, and I'm my own boss, and it ain't easy. Let me break it down for you. Pitfalls of being an artist musician have driven some insane. The game is fun, but it all isn't fun in games. Ain't just grabbing mics, playing rapping nice, naming flashing lights, rating, asking price, came with sacrifice. Simply creating was different, we're making a living. Weighing the vision through a series of life changing decisions. Perseverance, needing this in battle. If you're one who doesn't take the road, it's easiest to travel. At nine to five, I cheated with wandering hands, booking tours from tons of compliments and respond to the fans. Traded it for time away from kids, failed relationships, and Taking gigs and weather conditions that are dangerous. But I put things in place, moves reason based. Proverbial leap of faith can't be your waste. Pothole to rains, turn to no sleep. A lot on the brain. If we don't work, we don't eat. We gotta keep it moving, no time for a chill first. Do it for me, second for family meal served. Great to get paid for selling beats of an ill verse. Creating art as I can, but yo, it still work. They probably think I'm coming off like I'm a real jerk, but not supporting the heart of an artist will hurt. Benefits are abundant and Mostly I feel perks. So I love what I do for a living. It still works. Say la 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 la. Sing it, y'all. They got it. Let's do it one more time. La 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 la. Sing it, y'all. Yo. Always willing to rock to the building and squash. Partially why my talent is worth more than filling a slot. Do a show for exposure, interesting to see how doing your benefit for free is benefiting me. Work to do what people like, giving another slant, must enhance underrated truth for creative moves. Pays to do my best, I'm paid to do what others can't. I pay the dues, so it's only right you pay the dude. I have to buy the flyer to promote the show and then distribute the flyer so folks can know where they're supposed to go. To have a free collab with me is true to your grind. Don't expect a free record, be I paper studio time. Feel is reach your heart, creature art, healing feature. You don't have to buy my album. You don't have to steal it either. This ain't a woe is me stress endorsement. Just know that running the music business doesn't make my job less important. (laughs) 
and I gotta keep it moving, no time for a chill first. Do it for me, check it for family meal serve. Great to get paid when selling beats are an ill verse. Creating art as I can, but yo, it still work. They probably think I'm coming off like I'm a real jerk, but not supporting the heart of an artist will hurt. Benefits are abundant and mostly I feel perks. So I love what I do for a living, it still work. Say, la 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 Sing it, y'all. Y'all sound beautiful. One more time. Come on, y'all. Sing it, y'all. Falling back on that, what the hell of hot games to lean? Getting funky on the mic like an old batch of collard greens. Here's the capital S, so yes, I'm fresh and double the P, D, O, double G, Y, D, O, double G. You saw me. Thank you. I'm Carnegie Executioner. What's up, everybody? This is your girl Shakira reporting live on the SPNN Gray Carpet Special Edition since it is our three-year anniversary and it is my last show. To the left and to the right of me, I have two talented, two smart, two, um, um, they're my best friends, basically, <laughs> two great individuals here today. I've got Sakina to my right and Andre to my left. What brings you guys here tonight? Well, Shakira brings us here tonight, and we are actually going to be your Candy Fresh dancers for the night. Woo woo! Hey, let's give it up for them. Can you tell she's moving to LA? Did you see how, as soon as I like turned, first of all, she grabbed the mic out of my hand. I don't know if you guys saw that. Right, good energy, good energy. So, um, like they said, they are the Candy Fresh dancers. Um, what brought you guys, besides me, you know, what, what moved you to make this decision to be um, dancers for the sweetest show in St. Paul? Yeah, well, honestly, I feel like we came the first time a couple months ago, um, and we had a great time that time, and I think uh, we got really motivated by Candy Fresh and kind of like what it stood for, what was it about, and the energy we, we got when we actually came. Um, and I feel like that's when we were like, hey, we want to get in the mix too, you know? <laughs> and that's what I like to hear. And outside of the Swedish show, they are dancers in real life, ladies and gentlemen, um, professionals. So I'll just ask you guys, long story short, because we're wrapping up here, uh, what do you want to do with your dance careers? Where do you want to see those careers take off? Starting with you, Miss Sakina. All right, so when I am a little older, I do always, <laughs> I've always wanted to open up my own dance studio, so that is my dream. But in the meantime, I do want to go to L.A., I want to fly to L.A., get the experience that I need, dance, be somebody's backup dancer, you guys will see me on somebody's TV, <laughs> and just get that experience so that one day I can move back to Minnesota and open up my own dance studio. Awesome, awesome, that's what I like to hear, coming back to show love to her, to her state, that's very important. And what about you, Dre? Honestly, I got a lot of different things, to be honest, a lot. Uh, I would just say mostly just go to L.A. eventually to also get, like, that training from those really hardcore dancers that I think are super intricate. Um, but then on top of that, I have a music career on the side, too, so I'm going to use that to do that. And, uh, you know, be like Chris Brown Jr., you know, I don't know. <laughs> well, here you have it, guys. We are surrounded by talented individuals left and right, literally. Make sure you follow them on their journey. Check them out. Again, I'm Shakira reporting live on the SPNN Red Carpet. Peace. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh, gon' show up, get your shine on. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh, gon' show up, get your shine on. So this has been a super sick show so far, but we're not done yet. We're actually going to do something super special and actually interview each other. Ooh. That is correct. Kalik and I, we've been hosting since day one of season three. Shakira, mm -hmm. you've been on the red carpet and holding it down, and this is your last show already. It is. It Sad. Is. So should we hear about what she's got up her sleeves and maybe what she wants to do? Why L.A.? You know, that's the truth. It's not very often that you get to hear where the hosts are from and what they're up to. So I think it's going to be kind of fun. So the very first thing that you're going to do when you get to Los Angeles, California is? When I touch down, the very first thing, like I mentioned, is in and out only animal style, though. Otherwise, it's trash. <laughs> In and out burger. I learned the hard way. It's trash. So good, though. But only animal style. But all jokes aside, yeah. as you guys know, um, I want to be a television personality, which is why I'm here 
which is a part, why I'm a part of the Swedish show in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So I plan to explore LA for what it is with my best friend, Mr. Kina Roby. We're going out there together. Squad. Um, yeah, right, squad, gang, gang. No, edit that out. <laughs> we don't have to do that. Um, but I plan to explore LA. I have been on TMZ a couple, eight seven, times. Eight. Eight, eight times, times. Um, and so I plan to work for them and work my way up. My goal is to work for E News one day. Yes, girl, I'll be right by your side. I'll yeah, see you out man. there. So yeah, um, I'll have the link to the GoFundMe at the bottom of um, <laughs> the episode. Bread. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Actually, no. Truth be told, though, while you on that note, I mean, don't hesitate to ask for help. People in your circle will support you. Right? Do you guys support They're her? They're here right now. Yes. That's nice to hear. Yes. I should have like an offering. You know, at church when they have the yes. bucket, we should have brought you that know. to pass it around. But next time. Don't next mess time. with the church's money, but sometimes you just need the help. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> no. But all jokes aside, I'm super excited. I've wanted to do this literally since I was 12 years old. So I'm getting up there in age. It's time. I'm excited. And I thank all of you for, you know, this experience because this has helped me build my resume, build my portfolio. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, I'm going to miss the two of bring it into our sis, oh, our love sis. Come on, let's get both of you Do the end. No, y'all leave me hanging. And what other questions do you have for me? Kalik, what you got for her? It's so sad to see you going. This is so fatherly that right now. That didn't seem genuine. Like, he didn't even <laughs> blink when he said that. Did you Did you guys peep that? For a little bit. Okay. No, I, mean, I am sad to see you going. What is one thing that you want to leave with a person that's kind of exploring your same avenue. Someone mm -hmm. young that's like, maybe one day I want to be a reporter or something. Yeah, absolutely. That's a really good question. Um, the biggest thing, and I'm going to look at the camera for this because this is a real one. I talk to my friends about this all the time is stay true to yourself. And it doesn't matter Always. if you want to be a personality, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a dancer, it doesn't matter. Stay true to yourself. With a big city like Los Angeles, yeah. um, I've heard and I've seen it's hard to do that. Uh -huh. um, but I plan to do just that. I don't plan on changing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, you know, I was going to make a joke, but this is a, a family-friendly show, so I'm not going to say that. Um, but seriously, I plan to stay true to myself and just focus on what I'm going there for. I don't want anything to, you know, to waver. Yeah. Um, and just, with, I'm going to stick to it, basically. So That's real so. dope. And also, try new opportunities. Like, Absolutely. You can mess around and get in a commercial. You might be That's out true. there and you'll just be yep. eating an In-N-Out burger. And someone's going to start like, you know what? I like how you ate that burger. That's you know weird. And maybe oh, the know. nail salon might sponsor you, and they'll be like, hey, that's a good animal style. Let's do some crazy animals on those nails. That's true. That's Thank true. you. It's on Ahita.com. I got lots of ideas. She's, you, see, ah. you see these shameless plugs? Just like, like that? No, seriously, I, I agree. It's, a, it's definitely the land of opportunity. Yes. So I plan to get into a lot of things. As long as it comes full circle mm -hmm. and I'm doing what I love, I really can't complain. And there's a Fashion Nova physical store there. That's in my top five reasons why I'm going, to be honest. Bastard you got no some way. love for that one right now. I heard they have like a really tiny boy section there. They're, it's expanding. It's expanding. It's we'll see what I can. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. the pants expand. I don't want them to be tight. You're going to have to have hook you, Kalik up when he comes out have there. You he ordered needs any? Have you ordered Fashion Nova Men's Collection no, yet? No, All right, so what are you doing? You don't even know how they fit. <laughs> But anyways, you know. I'll expand my horizon. All right. That is where you can find her because you said you're going to try to get a job there. Yeah, I'm going to work there part time. I'm going to be, you know, those people, the, the stereotypical people that live in Los Angeles or New York. Yeah. They have six, seven, eight, nine, ten jobs. That's going to be me until, until awesome. I make my dreams come true. So. so we will definitely hit you up when we're out in L.A. because now we all have a new place to stay. Hey. Kalik. You're giving up your bed, right? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> But hey, Kalik's doing some stuff. Y'all want to know what Kalik's up to these days? Yes. Okay, so you're doing a whole bunch of stuff with youth and advocacy and philanthropy. Go. I want to hear about all that amazing stuff that you are doing. Okay, let me see if I can wrap this up. And okay. So pretty much in the whole, as a whole, I've been like working with youth for years. Since I was actually 16 doing PSEO opportunities. So last year? I'm just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. I, I know I'm a young man, but hey. He's growing. Uh, but in a nutshell, I've been working with youth for quite some time now. And um, over the years, throughout my opportunities, doing different internships, I always find myself being the only person of color there. And I didn't think that was the right representation. I know plenty of people of color that are smart, athletic too, and also have, you know, they're, they're actually street smart and, you know, school smart. And I felt like that wasn't being represented as much. So I'm like, they come, oh man, you're a big strong guy. You play sports? Like, actually, I like to read, and, and, and I build computers too. <laughs> and that would just blow them away. And so for me, I just wanted to see 
for myself is how can I help instead of just right. talking about the problem, how can I create a solution? And so I just started working with different nonprofits, being their advocates, right. and really just speaking to the people and letting them know that those opportunities are also for them. How cool is that, you guys? He's uh-huh. working with the youth to Let's make Let's give him a round of applause. Way. Now, don't think you're off the hook. We can't wrap up this episode without asking you. So Miss, Mrs. Anahita, tell us what's going on in your life right now and what, what you're working towards outside of Candy say, Fresh. Thank you, girl. I will say the most eye-opening experience that I have ever had on a personal development level was just about a month ago where I ran for Mrs. Minnesota America. Let's give her a shout out. That's dope. That's awesome. And, and how I, was that experience? It was amazing. I currently still have the title of Mrs. St. Paul. Thank you, St. Hey, Paul. Mrs. Hey. St. Paul. All in the house, autographs, oh autographs, my charge me 10%. No. Honestly, I got you. Um, but it was the most eye-opening experience because I think I underestimated the process. I underestimated the other women. Don't do that in life. Don't do that. And don't be overly confident. I didn't go into this with an arrogant ego, but I did think, ooh, I got the interview down. I'll just learn how to pose and things like that. Mm -mm. The whole entire process really spoke to me and said, look at these other seven women on the stage with you and the women that I got to know throughout the week. Phenomenal, genuine, rock star. So true sisters to this day. You know, it's only been a month, but you can already kind of (laughs) tell. No no craziness. Um, So that has been really amazing. But what I'm doing with that is it it just kind of gave me the confidence and the platform to take it to the next level with all the different work that I'm doing. And like you, I am trying to help the biracial and multiracial family youth in our community. I'm willing to help them, too, if the opportunity (laughs) presents itself. So I am in the process of developmenting, developmenting, that's a new word, is um, a youth empowerment program for biracial girls. So to help build their confidence and help be courageous as they grow up. And, of course, you know, I'm on YouTube and other stuff. So I'm building my on-camera work. Maybe I'll be on E! News with you. But, you know, it's really important to me to help my little two-year-old and her peers grow up feeling confident and courageous because I'm a Persian girl and I have mustaches and hair and all nooks and crannies and I got picked on when I was little. And I'm saying everybody got picked on in some sort of way. But I wasn't as confident as I maybe feel now. So if I can help the little girls of today being queens of tomorrow, then I'm doing my job. Absolutely. Amazing. Thank you. That's awesome. Well, I, I don't want to leave you guys, but I guess we should wrap this up, right? It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on. Get your shine on. Candy fresh, gonna show up, get your shine on. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on. And sadly so, that is a wrap for the third anniversary of Candy Fresh with our amazing guest tonight. Did you guys have a good time? I'm going to ask him again, Anahita. I feel like they could have brought a little bit more oomph. Did you guys have a good time? All right, all right. I would say that is a an awesome way to close out Ooh. your last show with us. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Give some love to Shakira. Alexa, yeah. Alexa, play End of the Road. No. Although we've come till the end of the road, still I can't let go. I'll miss Candy Fresh. I love all of you. You'll be in my heart. from LA. I'll still be here. I still love you guys. We would like to thank Carnegie Executioner. We also want to give a big shout out to Drew Devine. Man, we had it. Turn it up, turn it up. Well, as you guys know, we got more episodes coming soon. Once again, thanks to Kira. It's been a blast having you part of our Candy Fresh family. And as normal, guys, You are now watching Candy Candy Fresh. It's that Candy Fresh got the new now next.
Cause if you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy Fresh gon' show up, get your shine on. If that Candy Fresh got that new now, next if you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy 